In Norse mythology, Loki was neither really good nor bad, but we'd all be lying if we said that Loki had not had bad intentions that have led to the death of others and for many to hate who he is as a character. When I think of Loki, I do not imagine Atreus, so how will Santa Monica justify him as the god of mischief? Will we see more of Atreus' impulsive and compulsion that we witnessed in God of War 2018 and take over him in God of War Ragnarok? I think we will, and this video is a collaboration with ABD Bay. This is his theory, and I found it very interesting. You can definitely go over his channel because he's going to make a follow-up video to this one. Definitely check him out and subscribe to him. His channel will be put in the pinned comment and in the description. Hey guys, ABD Bay here. In many depictions of Loki, be it Loki from Norse Myth, the MCU, or other video games, Loki seems to struggle with some sort of mental illness. So why can't we assume that Atreus, being Loki in God of War, struggles with a similar fate? There are four main characteristics which Atreus possesses that ABD Bay believes will help Santa Monica justify the transition of Atreus into Loki. These characteristics are emotional instability, disrupted through patterns like impulsive behavior, and his intense relationship with others. I'll be going over the first two traits here, and ABD will go over the next one in his video, and how Atreus will become Loki. I will cover two reasons, and ABD Bay will cover another two reasons on his channel. Again, description and pinned comment. First, let's talk about Atreus' emotional instability. Atreus' emotion seems to fluctuate a lot in God of War 2018, and the way he behaves and feels, you can tell that something is not exactly right with him. Some of the range of intense negative emotions in short periods of time he displays was like rage when Atreus abruptly freaked out on Sindri. Sorrow, like how Atreus feels towards his father, which we learned about when Kratos was in the light. Shame, like how Atreus felt in Helheim after watching himself kill Modi against Kratos' wishes. And when he was panicking, like when Atreus must have felt when Kratos left him to refuel the Bifrost and when he went into the light. It is clear from the God of War Ragnarok trailer that Atreus is lost within himself. He's trying to find out who he is and he is mentally conflicted. This is shown in severe mood swings over a short spaces of time in God of War 2018. Another trait I would like to talk about is Atreus' disturbed patterns of thinking, like upsetting thoughts, such as thinking you're a terrible person when we see Atreus contemplate throughout God of War 2018, and in Lore and Legends, constantly wondering if he and his father are good or bad gods. In Norse mythology, it wasn't up until Ragnarok, Loki's intentions were to never really kill or cause destruction. Loki is not a bad person, but he does bad things because of his impulsiveness and the fact that he sometimes doesn't think things through. Atreus is an agent of chaos because he is literally the god of mischief. ABD Bay believes that the way Santa Monica could possibly justify Atreus as Loki would be something through this. Atreus's wide range in his emotions may actually become something greater in God of War Ragnarok. Even Mimir thinks so. Check out this piece of dialogue he said in Helheim. We need to talk, brother. You do realize it's over, don't you? Even if we make it back to Midgard, you and Balder destroyed the only gate to Jotunheim. We are out of options. And that boy up there, he's in nine kinds of pain. His head's turned so far around he- Atreus is not your concern. Well, you might become everyone's concern if you don't do something. You don't have to be the smartest man in the world to see that. To learn more about Atreus' mental state, hop over to my channel where I talk about Atreus' impulsive behavior and unstable relationships. Don't forget to subscribe to John Ford and then hop onto my channel and subscribe there as well when you watch the other part of this video. At the end of the day, this theory boils down to Atreus is dealing with a lot of emotions in God of War 2018 and all that might come over but even stronger in God of War Ragnarok. Atreus is supposed to be this embodiment of change and I think ABD Bay as well believes that all of this might come together and actually become something everybody has to deal with, like Mamir said in that clip you just saw. Let me know your thoughts and definitely check out ABD's channel.